channel my name is Rebecca and welcome to Rebecca TV for today's video we are going to be cooking which is something I rarely do on my channel but if I do know that we're gonna be cooking something delicious we are going to be making flan Spanish flan to be exact I am here in my kitchen here's the cat yes we are going to be making Spanish flan but it's in a box huh? yes I will be making it from a box it's not from scratch, but it will still be grade A top-notch recipes. Let's make this. Inside Inside this package, there are two separate components. Caramel that goes at the bottom of the cup and the actual mix itself. I have eight of these and I'm going to be layering this caramel in the bottom of these cups. Just putting a little bit in each cup so that they have an even layer all the way across. So let's go do that first. I don't know how much like the measurements are honestly so I'm just gonna squeeze like some of this in the bottom I don't know how much to put I was very disappointed because the camera only fit under six of the little cups so this is the first step now that this is done I'm gonna move on to the stovetop direction so let's go to my stove I have here a measuring cup and in this measuring cup I'm gonna be putting four cups of milk this is where the packet comes in now I'm gonna be pouring this into the milk it's slightly heated not boiling but eventually we will want it to boil This looks like the cheese from macaroni and cheese. I'm just going to keep mixing this until it boils and then I'm going to come back to you guys once it's done. It should take about 8 minutes. I'm going to be putting this and straining out a little bit of the pieces of milk that I burnt. Should I not put that in? So now that this is done boiling, I'm going to be pouring this into the souffle cups and then we're going to be putting them in the fridge. We came back to the souffle cups and here I have some of the mixture that we boiled. I'm going to be pouring this into the cups now. And I don't know how much you pour, honestly. Now the flan is inside my fridge. It is sitting and it is setting. It's gonna be cooling. I'm gonna leave it for about an hour before I check it again. I'm gonna put a timer on my phone so that I can check it in an hour. Fingers crossed. Now let's wait for the end result. Stay in the kitchen cooking up, get your own bread. This is the moment everyone has been waiting for. It actually is already sliding around inside of here if you guys can't tell. So it's not gonna be hard to take it out. I let the flan sit for an hour and 45 minutes and now you can see that it is like jelly. Let's see how this is going to go. I'm going to put this like this. Okay, I'm going to try to do this so that it looks nice. One, two, three. Uh, I hope this worked. Hello? Oh, nah. Okay, one more time. One, two, three. Please come out. Hello! <laughs> My other ones are definitely gonna look prettier than this, but this is how this one turned out. Do you wanna try it? It's not working, but you know what? Let's try it. It tastes like nothing. <laughs> No, it tastes good. Guys, this tastes really good. Oh my god. The caramel, like mixed with it. This is so good. Wait, I'm okay. I'm actually not lying. I'm actually, uh, I usually don't love custard. And I was surprised that I picked flan. But this, I'm going to put a picture of the packaging right here. So you guys can know exactly the package that I used. Yes, it is sweet. But not too sweet. Thank you for trying this new thing out with me. So that is it for today's video. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And also, I have my subscribe button down below. Please hit it if you have not already. That is all for today, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Stop making noise in the back. I had to close the fridge.